What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to script alley lights in Roblox Studio. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab a car. I'm going to be using this 2019 Dodge Charger just because I don't know. That's what I want to do. Um, now I'm not going to script the whole car. We're just going to get right into the alley lights. So I'm going to come over here. Um, I am going to be scripting with Lido's. If you do not know how to script Lido's, you can go on to my channel and there will be a video on how to do that. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this, where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? I'm going to grab, if I can find it, I'll grab this. I'm going to bring that over here to the uh, charger. And now this is going to be way too big, so I'm just going to go ahead and slice this down. Now, I'm going to move this into the window and kind of just play with it until I get it to where I want it. Which in this case would be right about here. And I do have to rotate it so it's not sticking out like that. And I do have to move it over a bunch just like that. And so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna duplicate it, I'm gonna rotate it, and then I'm just gonna move it over here. And then come in here size it back to about there and then there so once you get those in what you want to do is you go into your car you want to open it up go to your body you want to hit this plus and you want to type model you're going to rename this model light bar you can either hit f2 or you can right click and hit rename now i usually hit f2 just because it's a lot faster um, once you do that, looks like there's already a light bar in here. We're going to get rid of that. Um, once you've done this, you want to hit the plus on the light bar and create three models. You're going to name one front, side, and rear. Now, once you've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to get a hold of this light in here. One of them. And now we're going to grab a hold of the other one as well which is this one and we're going to drag those two lights that you just put in your car into the side model that we just put in the light bar now another thing i will leave a link in the description with a car that has the uh, everything i'm about to do so what you want to do you want to get a car that already has it which will be this 2019 you want to open it up you want to get the els folder you want to get all these folders the middle and the middle one you want to copy that click on your new car and you want to click on your light bar right click hit paste into now you want to drag your middle over just i suggest just putting it in your hood um, just like that another thing you want to do you want to go in here it may have a pickup and sour control i already i suggest delete it and just put the pickup and sour control from the car i put it in the description and paste into just like that so now your car is ready to script now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into this side where we put those end force. You want to open them up. You want to find the neon, the one that has the light on them. Grab these two lightos, drag them to the side, and take these end force singles and move them into outfitting. If you do not have an outfitting, go up to body, model, and then rename it outfitting. Like so. Once you've done that, you can close outfitting, go into your neon, and you're gonna name these E1 and E2. Once you've done such, I do suggest you go ahead and hit the plus sign on the actual neon, and you wanna type surface light. Now this is just to get the um, the uh, the reflection on the ground. It looks a little better. Uh, you can move it to where, however, you know you think it looks good. Uh, brightness is really low here and then this needs to be 180 and just kind of copy what we have here and then you want to duplicate it and move it into E2 again now you want to click both of them uncheck enabled or else it's just going to get in your way and then for the Lido you can click on both Lidos and change the brightness to 20 I just think it looks a little better 
now that we've done all that to get ready to script you want to go into your side hit the plus hit a script first thing you're going to type is the equals script dot parent dot parent dot side local thread equals color three dot from rgb 190 72 67 now you're going to do local blue equals color dot from rgb you're going to do 54 5487204 now that you've done that go outside of your parentheses you want to do local white equals color dot from rgb and that is going to be 222 224 and 248 and copy from there and once you've done that, you're going to do while true do. Give you guys a second to catch up. If you have not, you can also pause the video. Now, after you put that while true do, you're going to do function one stage. And in here, you're going to do the.e1. Lido.color equals red. And then you do that dot e1 e2 dot lido dot color equals blue and then basically what you're gonna do you're gonna go from this first end copy all the way up to the function come down here and we're gonna change this one stage to alley and then these colors here they're, just, they're all gonna be white now once you have that you want to hit go under this first enter do a task dot wait and do if script dot parent dot if I can type script dot parent dot parent dot values dot on dot value equal equals one and script dot parent dot parent dot values dot alley dot value equal equals false then fed dot e1 dot lido dot enabled equals false then you're basically going to do the same thing for E2. Like so. So what I would like, to, what I suggest you do is copy from script. Just do this. Hit enter. Backspace. Else if. Script. And then you want to change this one to two. So you're basically just typing else if instead of if and copying this and changing this one to a two. No, I'm not going to script anything for stage one and two, so I'm just going to click this, boom, paste it, done. Do the same thing, but you can copy the whole thing this time. Like that. Boom, enter, change this to three. Now we're going to do four loop equals one slash three do. And then you're going to take what we pasted up here, grab this. Change this to true. We're gonna put a wait time under it at 0.05. Then you're gonna grab this, paste it, and that's gonna be all false. Now what you wanna do, you wanna grab from this first end, go all the way up, enter. Change this true to a false, and this false to a true. Now that we've done that, you can come down to this first end, enter underneath it, you're gonna do else if script dot parent dot parent dot values dot alley dot value equal equals true. Then now what you want to do is you want to come under here. You can just grab this one script right here. Now you want to add the alley, the alley with the little parentheses underneath. Boom. Turn all of them to true. And now another thing you want to do up here, I forgot about it, you want to do one stage, add that one stage with the little parentheses. And then once you've done that, you can come down here, hit else, just get yourself an else, take all these false right here, or you can just rewrite them, 
Boom, now you've scripted your alleys. You wanna go out of it? I suggest renaming it alley. Hit play here. Let it load in for a second. Stage one and two is nothing. Stage three, and then you got your alleys. And it's just that, it's just that simple to script alleys. If you do have any questions, I will leave the link in the description to the Discord. Go ahead, and there's a couple channels in the Discord uh, to ask questions. Like there's dev conversation, and then there's a specific channel to ask me questions. Um, they do get answered. Please do not open a ticket. Um, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe. My name is Ben Braden. Stay safe and take care.